Oh my goodness, dude. I am super excited. We just got news that we're getting a brand new Borderlands game. Gearbox and 2K just announced we're getting Tiny Tina's Wonderlands in early 2022. Now, if you have not seen the trailer, I will link it in the description, but it will also be playing in the background. Um, yeah, if you guys are familiar, we did have a Dungeons and Dragons kind of themed DLC in Borderlands 2. It was known as Tiny Tina's Attack on Dragon's Keep, and we are getting another version of that. Now, I do want to point out this is a standalone game. It's not going to be like an add-on to Borderlands 3. So imagine the Attack on Dragon's Keep DLC from Borderlands 2, but much more. Anyways, I do have the press release information right here, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So basically, it said that 2K and Gearbox Entertainment announced a new game today, which we all know now is Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. This is going to be a fantasy-fueled adventure with an unpredictable world, and even if you're not really into Dungeons & Dragons, it's still going to be Borderlands. So it's going to be something for everybody. As for the platforms of release, it's going to release on PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and on PC for Steam and Epic Games Store. Now, we don't have an exact release date yet, but it has been said to release early 2022. This game will be an epic high fantasy take on the looter shooter genre. And hear this, players can customize and create their own multi-class heroes. That right there sounds like we're going to be creating our own Vault Hunters. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's something we have not done in any Borderlands game ever. You will be able to loot and shoot, but you will also be able to slash and cast magic. On top of that, we're going to see new enemies, treasure filled dungeons, and we'll be on a quest to stop the Dragon Lord. Now, I'm going to stop right there real quick and go back to what we just said. Looting and shooting is something we've done in all the Borderlands, and we all love that. But they said there's going to be slashing and casting. Yeah, it sounds like we're going to finally have actual melee weapons, and I guess cast magic too. That is super cool, and I'm super looking forward to that. Um, just like the Dragon's Keep DLC, this will be told by the unpredictable Tiny Tina. So as you play through, Tina is going to be making the rules and changing the world on the fly, and guide you on your epic journey. Moving on here, like I said before, this is going to be a standalone game, and it will have a rich story-driven co-op campaign for up to four players. Not only that, but you guys who are all about, you know, endgame content and whatnot, it is going to have repeatable endgame content too. Now, it does state here that the game has been in development on and off for over 10 years, so I guess what we can take away from that is this won't be a very small game. Uh, we should expect full and good content from it. In fact, right here we do have a quote from the executive producer Randy Pitchford. He quotes, For me, bringing actual Borderlands gun to fight dragons, skeletons, goblins, and more in an original fantasy world imagined by the galaxy's deadliest 13-year-old, Tiny Tina, as a new fully featured AAA video game is a dream come true. So there you go, it's going to be a AAA title, and it will be told through Tiny Tina as her younger self. Um, we don't know anything about if this is going to be, you know, canon to the story, but if it is, considering that Tiny Tina is a kid, it would take place between Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 3. Moving on here, we do know that four celebrities will be voicing four of the characters in the game. There will be the headstrong Captain Valentine voiced by Andy Samberg, a real obsessed Robot Friday voiced by Wanda Sykes, beloved bomb chucking Tiny Tina voiced by Ashley Burge, and the villainous Dragon Lord voiced by Will Arnett. And yeah, that's going to be all the information we got from Tiny Tina's Wonderlands from E3 today. So let me know below in the comments what you guys think about all this. Personally, I'm really looking forward to it. Tiny Tina's Attack on Dragon's Keep is one of my favorite DLCs for Borderlands 2, so it sounds like this game is going to be that, but even more. Also, if you guys know me, I've been talking about having melee weapons in a Borderlands game for such a long time, and it's happening, so maybe we'll finally see some crazy Borderlands-styled melee weapons. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome, and if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. If you get any more news on the game, I will be sure to update you guys, so enjoy your day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.